You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to this LTC News Report. I'm your host, Dane Henning. During this COVID-19 pandemic, it's become center stage on every network news channel on how nursing homes are struggling to maintain and receive funding as well as PPE used by CNAs and caregivers who work with those in their care. The National Association of Healthcare Assistants, or NACA, has been committed to delivering updates and news on COVID-19 pandemic. Today, they are delivering their message from the field. Standing by, we have Lori Porter, co-founder and CEO of NACA. Lori, what is your message today? Oh, Dane, thank you so much for having me on uh, Long-Term Care News. Uh, my message today is just uh, one of to continue to support nursing homes and especially our CNAs working on the front lines. NACA is a national association of and for CNAs and assisted living caregivers, and our message today is about protecting them, educating them, and supporting them in the best way we can. COVID has been in the news and on everybody's radar, yet nursing homes are still finding themselves short on many things. Why aren't nursing homes a priority during this crisis? Nursing homes have never been a priority in the United States of America, nor have elders. Uh, and now we are going to pay a significant price for it because nursing homes were never given the funding they needed to be prepared for something like this, nor were they given the PPE, the personal protective equipment that is necessary to protect themselves. They make an our members, the CNA and assisted living caregivers, make an average of 11 to $13 nationally an hour. I am so proud of them because they're going on to the front lines they're willing to risk their own lives, but they're very, very frightened about their children and taking this home to them. So we are fighting and championing to make sure that our members, CNAs, and nursing homes in general have a champion and are as prepared as they can to get the resources they need to protect their teams and their residents. Thank you, Lori. NACA will continue its reports from the field. Stay tuned for those, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>